Hey guys, DCSM here for another episode of Milso TV. I'm sorry that I missed my video last week, but I had a nasty sinus infection and I kind of sounded like a dude and not in a good way. So yeah, I just decided to not make a video. Um, so hopefully tonight will be good. Oh, and before I start, you guys need to send me things to talk about. Candy bars. <laughs> not candy bars, suggestions. Um... Because if I don't know what you want me to talk about, then my videos get very boring and you just kind of listen to me jab my jaws for about 10 minutes or watch me eat for 10 minutes. You know, either one is fine with me, but I doubt that's what you guys want to see. Um, anyways, tonight we are... Oh, see, I had notes. I took notes earlier. I need to go. I'm so proud of myself. Um, tonight we're going to talk about things that you are going to have to get used to um, being a military SO. And a lot of these will apply more so if you live with your significant other. If you don't live with your significant other, um, a lot of these are, is just kind of stuff you're going to look forward to in the future. Mm. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to get input from this one as the video goes by because he chose to sit over here playing his game tonight. So, which is good because I can get his input. Put the camera on me. I sure did. Ew. Ew, I know. I'm surprised you didn't break it. Um, you're stupid. Nice combat. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to deal with and start to enjoy is all of your SO's friends. Um, guys that are in the military... <laughs> are not known for being the most delightfully proper people when they're around each other. Um, so if you are really uptight, you're going to have to get over that. Uh, especially if you guys go to like, like get-togethers, like informal stuff like barbecues or parties or whatever. Um, you're going to have to get used to his friends. You're going to have to get used to the language that they use. Um... They're very vulgar, and they talk about sex a lot. I think you talk about sex more than anyone else. But it's like weird stuff. You like to weird people out. And? Granted, so do I, but I don't do it to weird people out. Um, so yeah, don't, don't be one of those girlfriends or wives or fiancés that constantly nags their SO about hanging out with their beer buddies or going out occasionally. Would you, I can see your shadow and it's weird. Um, I mean, understand that he has to have time for his friends too. So, I mean, this, this one has Xbox dates. So, and honestly, it's, it's slightly amusing to watch most of the time. Sometimes it's really annoying, but you're amusing to watch. Your face is amusing. Um, but most of the times, it's it's nice. So don't, I mean, let him do their thing. Understand that he has to have his buddy time and all that other fun stuff. Um, yeah, he works with them all day, but that's work, and work sucks, and it's stupid. And they probably don't enjoy doing it, so they don't have time to have fun. This is um, my crack. Huh? This is my outlet of crack. The Xbox is the outlet of crack, is the quote that I just got. Um... Okay, so moving on to living together stuff. Um, and this is a biggie if you have kids. We have a three-year-old and another one on the way. Uh, <laughs> you want to do that again so I can get that on camera? Are you sure? <laughs> um, yes, being the one that manages the household. And I know a lot of the, the Milsos are stay-at-home moms, and again, this applies to those of us that have kids, um, it's not easy, it's not, it's not easy chasing around a kid all day and cleaning up after them and cooking meals and keeping the house clean and doing laundry and all that other stuff, it's, it is very physically demanding, um, but would you stop it? I'm not even talking to you. God, but I can hear you and you're just making random noises, but... It's one of those responsibilities that you have to deal with and you have to smile and you have to put on your big girl panties and just and do it. Um, of course, we're all going to have days where it's just too much. I had one of those days a couple days ago and the hubs came home and I, well, actually it was yesterday, and I was kind of a complete bitch. Cunt! 
I was. Um, we all have those days, but don't throw responsibility on them as soon as they walk in the door. Um, give your SO time to unwind. Give them about 30 minutes to an hour just to kind of sit, not have to work, decompress, let them smoke a cigarette, have a cup uh -huh. of coffee, poop, whatever they're going to do to decompress. Well, that's not so weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The way that the hubs describes it is yes, I have to put up with one kid all day, but he has to put up with how many? Well, right now I'm up 45. He has to put up with 45 grown children every day. And I, I mean, I can understand. So before you start nagging him about stuff that can be done a little bit later, just kind of put yourself in his shoes, give him a little bit of time. Um, and, God, try not to be a nag anyways. That's really super annoying. Fuck yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try not to do that. I only do that about the trash. No, I don't even do that about the trash anymore. No, I just take it out. Because you just take it out. Do I nag about anything? Work. Huh? Work. Well, yeah, I nag about your job, but your, most of the time your job is stupid. Uh... <laughs> Um, and kind of along those lines, don't forget that they're not your roommate. Um, a lot, and this is for any kind of relationship. A lot of times relationships can kind of fall into that roommate status to where they kind of come home and you're just like, man, what's up? And you don't really interact. Um, you don't do anything together. You don't act like a couple. Always set aside time to be a couple. Um, whether it's something as small as making sure you give them a kiss when they walk in the door. Um, <laughs> stay just like that. They can't see that. <laughs> Ignore the bojangles on my coffee table. You're bad tonight. <laughs> um, I, um, most of the times we have dinner together, we didn't tonight because I had a work meeting that lasted until 30 but um we try to have dinner together um we try to do something together every day that separates roommates from couple and that's not just not having sex like if if you're gonna go all out then yeah but i mean if you're just gonna like bang and then it's done um you still need to set aside couples time to i like banging and it's done sometimes i do too but we act like a couple. We don't act like roommates, though. Like, tell them that you appreciate them. That's a big thing, too. Um, and women do this, too. And this was, a, this was a thing with the two of us for a little while until we talked it out. Um, I would do stuff around the house and come home, and I didn't feel like it was noticed or appreciated. And we talked about it. And the, it went the other way, too. Um, when we first where it started living together he, the same thing would happen to him like he didn't feel like I appreciated what he did for our family like I mean he's the main breadwinner he does the major part of the working for a living he works really hard stuff like that um and I realized that I needed to start telling him more that I appreciated what he did and everything he does um that I was proud of him so much and it doesn't have to be um, it can be completely spontaneous. Just send a random text. Hey, babe, I'm proud of you and what you do, and I just want you to know that I love you. That sort of thing. Yeah, it's kind of mushy-gushy, but it's it's nice to hear every once in a while. Um, that's all I have on my list. Babe, do you want to add anything to that? This isn't my vlog. Yeah, I know, I'll but it's nice to get... Me. It's nice to get a male's perspective. So I'm not just, like, sitting here doing this. Not really. No, I think I think I've covered everything. Yeah, I can't. I can't think right now. Okay. It hurts my brain. Hurts your brain? Yeah. Well. That dude's badass. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I guess that's about it um, for tonight's vlog. Like I said, I didn't really have a lot to go on. I was just kind of hitting some points that we were having a conversation about. Other we we're we we're Stop talking about. Bitch. Um, we were talking about some of the guys that he works with um, and the, how their relationships are. So I just thought I'd do a short play on that. Would you stop it? He hit 
I keep so you're playing wrestling. He's supposed to hit you. Don't call him a bitch. He was cheap though. Uh, we're gonna shoot some aliens tonight. Um, anyways, so I guess that's about it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, please send me things to talk about. I'm actually sl Yes. I'm actually slightly boring most of the time, so I really don't know what you guys want me to talk about. So do that. Send me stuff. Meh. Um, you can send it to my personal Tumblr, or you can send it to the Milso Tumblr. Um, I mean, you don't have to wait until Sunday. Um which is when I record my vlogs, um, to have them up early Monday morning. Um, you can email me throughout the week and just be like, hey, I have an idea for your vlog. I want to hear you talk about bunt cake recipes. I don't know. Ooh, I'll have to do a recipe vlog. <gasps> oh! That'll be, I'm excited about that! I'll have to do one of those. So, yeah, send me stuff to talk about. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a good week and all that other fun stuff. And I hope to talk to all of you soon. Okay, bye. Sure. Smooches. You want to say bye, babe? Bye. He says bye. <laughs>